Hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you are doing fantastic. Welcome to my first video of the year. After a much needed break, I will start this off with a series of confirmed titles and updates coming from Tom Clancy Universe on the Ubisoft. If a specific news is still a rumor, I will clarify that as well in this video. So for starters, we have The Division's Phantom Phase, or The Division 2's Phantom Phase, if we should say. As we already know, we didn't really get to kill Fei Lao in the last mission of that season, so she will likely be the focal point of the next chapter of The Division 2. Now with the recent changes in the industry and the pandemic resurging again, things might be a little bit slow for this update. Update. The release window was set for early 2022, but do not be surprised if this update doesn't come till mid or late summer 2022. These new updates are expected to move the lore a little bit further than before and bring some fresh seasonal activities as well. While it is true that some developers have left the franchise and left Ubisoft or Massive itself, the biggest challenge for this game will be the global pandemic. A lot of developers are going back home to work remotely, so this might be a little bit challenging. The cases in Bucharest is still not as crazy as the rest of the world, but some restrictions still apply, and this might affect the release of the next Division 2 update. Up next, we have the Division Heartland. This is a version of the game that combines the survival mode of Division 1 with some of the advancements of Division 2. This game is being made by Red Storm Entertainment here in the United States. While there is a lot of commotion within the gaming industry and inside Ubisoft, Red Storm is still in a great spot. I haven't heard anything bad about them, so that looks to be great news for the Division Heartland. Up next, we have Rainbow Six Extraction. This is an evolved version of the quarantine mode in Siege. It looks like a really polished game so far. The noise around this game is that people are not interested in this game, especially the Siege fan base. And a lot of them are saying, you know what, we're not going to buy this game. But as we all know, noise is noise. We will have to wait to see the sales numbers and see if people actually stayed away from this game or not. Up next, we have Ghost Recon Frontline. Another battle royale game from Ubisoft, as if that is their best thing. I don't know who asked for this, but this is an IP that would have been better off maybe on a mobile platform. But Ubisoft hacks like they've been successful with every battle royale, so I guess we're going to see how this one unfolds. Does anyone remember Hyperscape? Yeah, I don't think you all did either. Anyways, I rest my case on that one. Finally, we have a rumor that there is a Splinter Cell remake coming up. Not sure how true this is, but I can smell some NFT and live service coming up with it as well. With all this said, let me know what you think about this news and all these upcoming releases. And do you think this will be a great year for gaming, considering the state of the pandemic? It is good to be back. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.